Game Digit has done something that no other provider on the planet has yet to accomplish. Introducing solid state drives. This means no server side lag, period. Want 10% off for the life of your package? Use coupon code SOLID STATE. For more information, see www.gamedigit.com. That's www.gamedigit.com. Apply directly to the forehead. E Rev is not responsible for any monitor to head related injuries. Do at your own risk. We are back in the GXL lab and for another StarCraft event. We're doing uh, one after another. We have the same guys we have last time. We're going right directly into another. This guy's Wolf right here. And uh, Magna Bula with Zerg. Magna Bula with the Zerg. Uh, Magna Bula, we were playing earlier with Dota. He's a great player. Um, this is a, uh, a four person map. Um, usually you lost tempo, it's one of the most popular maps. Usually what they do is it's top versus bottom. Well, it's very unlikely and very unfortunate for one another is they're actually right next to each other. Uh, Magna Bull is doing the correct job right here of uh, doing the Zerg and searching across with his overlord, trying to okay, figure out. Find him real quick. Definitely. And if he finds him, that's really going to have an you know, advantage. You're gonna see it real quick. But, uh, Russ then. The best thing for him to do, if, if he finds out that he's here, is that if he cuts across this way and pulls back in, because if he does that, he doesn't know what direction, where he came from, but if he comes directly from the bottom, directly there, he's going to have a problem um, catching out where he is, because he's going to know exactly where he each base is. Um, the Overlord seems he's going to go directly up top, not even looking at the actual base right next to him. He's uh, overlooking that quite greatly. He's going at a very slow speed, so it's not going to do much at this particular point. Um, this is the same guy we saw last time. He's gonna build his uh his um is he using that for a search? Oh you already found now he knows They should right now be smart enough because you know that they both know exactly where each other are. Uh they try to run away and just in case that he he's probably going to make sure that he sees it. So he's trying to run away and make sure that he doesn't see it, but you know what? He just passed by him twice, so hopefully uh they figure out where one another are. He didn't, obviously didn't see him because he's still going up or he's not paying attention. He's just worrying about building in his own base. Um, right now, this guy understands what's going on. He has a second guy building a pylon. I don't know where he's going because he already knows where he is. Why is he going to uh, draw attention? There he goes. That's done. That's over. They each know where each other are. He's pulling back. He's going directly for the second expansion that's right here. Uh, he's probably going to pull around. I don't know why uh, he did what he did. It looks but like he's going to go to the scout, but you clearly know if he came from the south. That can't be from the south area. So what he's probably going to do is he's going to take that uh, probe and he's going to go directly here, trying to make sure and confirm that move? fact. That is a spawning pool. This is going to be a six pool, almost definitely. If he makes that six pool against his attack earlier like he did before, he probably had no problem taking him out. The other uh, Zerg uh, player that we was playing before, hesitated quite much on uh, building that uh, Zergling attack. He's got a lot of drums already. Yeah, he definitely does. And he has 200 and whatnot funds, and he's building a uh, extractor. Yep, that he does. He's getting that vest being gas. He might be going for... He might want to go straight air, because he to cut right across. So that would be a quick path for air. But that'd be a longer game now, because he wants to play along with the protest. There he goes. He, he wanted to make sure what was going on. He did exactly that. He uh, took his probe, brought it straight down, and he knows exactly where he is. Zerglings? That he's building right there? Um, <laughs> these are Zerglings. There he goes. He's going for the six pool, as stated before. He should really bring down his, um, his, uh, loot probe. He can't build his overlord until he upgrades it, right? Right, it wouldn't do any good right now. So, right now, all he has to do is, he's making his, his first, uh, four set. He's gonna go directly for it. He's not even stopping. He's like, you know what? I know exactly where you are. Let me take out your, your probe first. Because my my uh, units are a lot faster than that super probe. Um, he next two. He's yeah, building he's his cannon right away. As this time, instead of building like gateway first, he's like, you know what? I have to build this forge. I know he's gonna come with the zerglings quite easily because he knows exactly where I am. He's really close. He's he's very uh, offensive attack. Magnum uh, will send two of them right for it. So he, he has four of his guys going directly for this guy just for the hell of it. He has two guys going directly in. Which once these cannons are made, he's not gonna have much of a chance of uh, surviving. Um, well, he did, are looks like guy. he might be able to move right in. He, he got the workers. I would say that I would agree with you totally. 
But right now, he's really kind of right up top, right in the middle. If he gets past him, if he gets past him, though, he's coming in with those two. Yeah, there's no way for him to stop him. He's going to stop his probe and start shooting at him with his probe, <coughs> which would, uh, wouldn't be very effective. Um, first thing he's done, he takes out that overlord. Will he escape? No, he is uh, dead. You know, that, that weighs some... Um, you know, some zerglings, whatever you can make, because that kills his health right there. Yeah, right now he's actually over the population limit. <laughs> so he has to hold off, build another uh, thing before he builds any more guys. He's he shouldn't be attacking that. He should have ran right past. should have started attacking these guys. Right now, all the zerglings that he made are rendered useless. Um, as soon as the, that guy makes the forge, that's why I usually myself make the forge right in the beginning when he's brought up. Just so I can have those cannons available right up to the beginning, and I'll have no problem just rushing in there. And now these cannons are, are not that uh, cheap, but you know when you when you have all these guys all getting money, it should not be that much of an issue trying to get these um, these protoss cannons up. It helps to play for the long game. Now this time he's running right past him. He could have killed him. This is a smart idea. He's staying right behind and trying to get away from these guys, and he's just working right on them. He can kill us uh, things probably in a, like. Uh, about you know, three, three hits. Um, if he takes out the cannon he's got to right cannon now, he's but got he's not doing that. He's going directly to the thing, which isn't a bad idea because he figures that he's going to die soon anyway. And what he did by this particular cannon right here, or actually, I think he did actually might kill What's he going for back in his base? Back in his base, it seems like uh, just an expansion just, right now. Yeah, he's just going for uh, possibly. Um, yeah. He's trying to get more money. I guess he thinks the rush is over now with all those cannons. Yeah, there's nothing more he can do with that. What are you doing with that now? He, he's killing his Suicide own overlord. Um, quite stupid. Uh, he just killed both his now overlords. He's over his he only has over. one overlord left. Um, he, he's 13 over. He won't be able to build any more units until that's, that's completed. He uh, builds a hydrolyst then just like the other guy did. Um, hydrolyst against cannons are not that effective because the range is a little offset. Cannons have a little better range than hydrolysis. Um, hydrolysis are very strong, but you know, in this particular case, this guy mass around his base with cannons. Um, he, he's ready for air. He's ready for whatever. Really, what he needs to do is go for the air and get those um, guardians. The guardians. Those guardians with the long range. Uh, those aren't just stage three, so that would be a long game. That uh, definitely would be. You definitely have to expand right now and try and get as many of these as possible. You know that he's here. He can definitely, if he wanted to, with um, his units, take them right now. He has the money. Go over here, build another, uh, build another, um, what is it called? Hatchery right over here, and start getting more money from another location. Looks like White's expanding to his north right now. Uh, yes, he has the money for it, and he goes, oh, he's building pylon. It seems he's first going to build defense over here and cut off the, uh, if he gets any more ground units. And then he's going to make his, uh, his fortune out of the, uh, Nexus. Nexus. That hand's a little wet. That was from washing my swire. <laughs> Alright, he's, he's starting to get with the Zerg attack and the Hydralisk. Uh, I see Jeff. Uh, he's going again for the second attack. I don't know how great that's going to be. He's probably be able to take that pylon out. It's going to be a, a waste of pylons. Uh, it was $100 for a pylon. Alright. Um, unless he starts making cannons, but he should he be able to make more money. Cause he should be able to take those out too. Depending, depending on how fast he goes, he should be able to take out that cannon. He should be able to take out that cannon and his probe and the, the uh, thing. If he doesn't make that fast enough, he's going to have major oh, problems. But he's not going for that. He's not thinking. There he goes. He's that's going for the attack. That's done. He's going for the next one. That's done. He goes for the last one. That was a lot of wasted money. That was about $400, $500. Yeah, $550, I think it is right there. Just wasted. Nothing. He moved his probe back. It was a smart idea. Um, he, he has coached his cannons. They're spread out a little bit, so he might have a problem just a little bit. He's making it so he can't expand. He can't get a probe out there. It was a very good idea. Um, he's going to expand now. He's going to need a shuttle or a cat. And he doesn't have a, what is it, a gateway that doesn't. All cannons right now. So right now he's gonna do just his base. He did a great job of cutting his supply off and anything else he can do. Um, he, he keeps on building his hydros, sending them all out, going directly oh, man, over here. It's a great idea of controlling them and doing this uh, solely <laughs> by themselves. 
Um, it's always doing it. It's fun. It's building up uh, more creeps, building more. What is that? Overlord? Yes, yeah, yes. Max out is using the count right now. And, um, oh, it's Velvet Hydralisk. That's going to be great over in front of his base. He's not going to be able to bring any ground units out with the Hydralisk in front. Here's a strong, strong defense. Uh, Looks like Zara's going to win this long attack. game right here. Unless they're able to get out right now, this long game is already done. It's definitely a gateway. You might be able to you know, you might build the other side of the kinetics and go again with the same attack of the... Uh, oh, he's just going lots this time. He's lots. like, you know what? I have to get to this. I need my money. I need to try and get those uh, these, you know, Z lots and try and get that across. He's going to have to build another gateway to make enough guys in time outweigh all these guys that he oh, has right here. He's exactly. going for the attack right now. Um, Should be enough to take out that cannon. If he goes straight to the pylon, he might be able to take out a lot of cannons. Uh, he should definitely go directly to that pylon. That one pylon is controlling all these. Right now, it's just a mass slaughter. You really shouldn't have rushed. You really should have stayed back and controlled this area so you shouldn't be able to expand. He's sending more guys up, but you know what? There's a lot of wasted money right there. You should really just stay back like turning them into right there. there though. That's what you're trying to find. He keeps on killing these probes. He'll be set. Oh, he lured them in. That attack lured him with the probes. A lot, a lot of money wasted right there. And that was great on each half. But they both lost a lot of money. Um, oh, they're only 52. Correct, correct. He lost, what, 150 gold, whereas each probe is 50. He lost six probes. That was a strong one, Camper. Right here. Um, he has more units right here. He's already evolved his uh, hatchery into the lair. He's making his lurkers now. Those lurkers in that position will be able to control that entire position. The villain is the second hatchery. He's getting more funds. A very smart idea. He could have moved out a little bit more, but you know what? It's a start. He's getting there out there. He's controlling the field. He's making sure this guy can't go anywhere. You know, he's limited to about maybe uh, another $3,000, $4,000, and he's out of it. Um, he has mass amount of money right now, uh, but I don't know what he can do with it. Um, he should really start. Remember, he has lurkers that can burrow, which is great. <coughs> Attacking these uh, cannons long range. They got longer range than cannons, so they can't even be taken out. Well, he, if he set them up right, that is true. Yeah. But uh, he's burrowing them, so right now, he should not be able to get any probes out there unless he attacks right now with his uh, Z lots. More burrows, so he's going to need a detector and he doesn't have any. Correct. He won't be able to get a detector until he builds uh, the observers. So right now, that burger is completely invisible. Judas, he got air already. Once he starts turning that, that lair, he upgrades that again. Then he'll be able to upgrade his um, spire into a great spire, and he'll be able to start making the guardians. And they'll completely outrange the cannons. They'll outrange pretty much any unit. Very slow, only attack ground, but they attack ground really strong. It's hard to kill them. He has no chance. Land. No chance. So right now, um, he did the first Zergling attack. He uh, he got a couple um, of guys in the back. He lost a lot of money there, but he came back and he started killing all these cannons that were in this area. A lot of like $600 worth of stuff wasted right here on the behalf of White. Um, then what's what's going on is he, he created uh, a mass attack. He's limiting his uh, his uh, expansion very well. And uh, he might be finished. He's not making a cyber course. He's going to probably start making the, uh, the um, try and fend off any air attacks that come. But the goons won't have any shot against the large air force. Correct. What he needs is he's going to need some Corsairs, which he's nowhere near right now. And he wouldn't have enough money to build. He has a lot of money right now, but he, he really has to be cautious on what he's spending on. He would need 400 for the star, uh, for the airport, and then you need um. I don't know, I think it's like another 200 just to start building the scouts. So, 
And then you'd have probably have to upgrade to get anything else better, like yes. like a carrier or anything of that nature. So he, he's far away his, uh, in time. Well, he he's already going for trying to find an open spot and attack and get his uh, his proton cannons. But really, he just wasted a couple of units. Um, he o underestimated, you know, how far back he had these cannons. I think he could just go straight back and take out these uh, these uh, probes That's that he had. That's one of the are especially good for with their. Uh the way it bounces between the different units, they can take out a whole group of probes like nothing. He still only got the one lurker there, so. He has extra hydros over here, so if he wanted to, he really could just pull him up over here, or even over here, and just start burning him, making sure that he couldn't have any units do anything. So he just, as they walk across, dead, 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 no problem He's whatsoever. He's got an expansion base now, too. So he has plenty of money coming in. Yeah, uh, he's a little short right now because he gets inspired. Yeah, as soon as he gets inspired, he's upgrading the attack on those. He hasn't made a Queen's Nest, has he? Because after that, that's when he's going to start upgrading to Guardians, most likely. Not yet, though. He really has to start making more overlords because, if you can tell right now, He's got 34 or 35. There he goes. So he needs two more overlords. He'll yeah, get another uh, 20 guys. He should be very well set off after that. Um, he's holding guys back. Uh, there he goes. Lurker. He made, made another exactly lurker. He should go right, right over here. He won't be able to have any ground units cross here at all. Because as soon as they go across, they'll be attacked. They won't be able to attack back. And they'll keep on getting them as they go across. So it's a, it's a really big problem on uh, 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 for, for, for Wolf, who, who did very well, a very good job last round uh, uh, against Zerg, yeah. but he didn't have a Russian team, and that's his problem. He's not used to the Russian. He's used to just sitting back, making his units, being okay. Um, he's got robotic support, so he start making his, uh, wait, that means he's going for uh, scab cannons. That's kind of weird. I don't know what he thinks he's going to use the scarab cannons for. He's not filming any yet, though. He's got the observer base, so that means he's going to be able to start making the uh, observer and start getting some detectors in there. He got the workers. He's still looking to get that expansion. He knows he needs it. He's, he's might really a mass amount of cannons, but as soon as this guy over here makes that queen's as you were talking about before, they get those... Um, the two upgrades he needs. The guardians. The guards. He's going to have major problems. These cannons are going to be absolutely useless. A lot, a lot of money is going to be wasted. But he is still a long way away from the Guardians because the Queen's Nest is the prereq to upgrading the Lair, which is the prereq to upgrading the Spire. So he's got some time before he can start the Guardians. The, there's about $3,000 of the minerals here. They're depleting quite fast. He has a little more on this end because of... Uh, and he has less less amount of units going on over here. But on this end, he, he has another hatchery going at the same time. You know, he's dividing it up, so he doesn't use too much at the same time. He's building more Zergs, uh, Zerglings. Um, he's got some units going north right now. Looks like Zerg with the speed they got. Yep. yep, yes they are. Um, I don't know what he plans on doing with those. They die very quickly, especially with the, uh, the amount of health that they have. They keep expansion from happening. They're great against probes. They're good against Zealots. Not great. Zealots can take him out. Keep one easily, but it's all right. He's surrounding whole his whole base with these cannons. Um, but he's gonna need more pylons if he wants to do it that way. Because as soon as those pylons are gone, they're been absolutely useless. He has, he has four pylons, uh, five, There's six. One of his reverse. That's the first scarab cannon we've seen. And here's the attack. He really should be going directly for for those pylons. He's not doing that right now. But he's got three of the cannons down already. About to get four. Uh, he's going straight into his base. He's holding his zerglings off the rate right after to rush straight down the middle and get these guys. Uh, that was a very good idea to get the reavers to try and you know mass attack over here. Although he's turning to lurkers now. He's gonna need more support. So he's gonna try he's rebuilding really fast. He's trying to get something there. He's got the money to do it, but he doesn't have the resources to keep doing it. He's going to, I don't know, is he able to just, you know, do uh, right-click attack and try and get these guys on the no. ground? I mean, he doesn't, he can't.
can't get those guys. There's his observer. Uh, and he's got the outranges of lurkers. Without a doubt, yeah. And the observer is invisible to preserve until he sees it with the, um, what do you call it, overlord. What he doesn't realize is that you really can't get around his uh, cannon defense. He has a lot of cannons. He has them all over the place. And really, that it's a good was. Way to scout the base, though. It does scout the base for uh, his ad that he's making. Now that and he those lurkers are gone. He has more lurkers over here, but those lurkers aren't going to mean anything unless he gets rid of that reaver. Those reavers are all alone, so if he wanted to, he could attack it right now and not have any problems. But he just burrowed his guys, so he's going to have a big problem uh, coming up. The Lynx might have a good shot against the reaver. Scattered cannons really don't do well against large quantities of units, even though they do splash damage. They're very slow to attack. And oh, he's bringing the Xerox up. They're very slow to uh, the rush, he too. So if he rushes them, he should be fine. Because if you're right next to him. Oh man, so that was he, perfect splash right there. Really? Yeah, that was Alright, he still has all the Zerg, he has all the. Um, the lurkers underneath there, so he'll kill all of these guys, but he's got a problem because once he gets those observers there, they're going to be attacked quite easily. The overlord, the overlord, uh, at the scout, yep, he we don't have anything to attack the air now. He lost so all if he unburrows right now, hundred. and he attacks that, he should be alright, but he's going to run away, and, uh, it's probably the best for him right now. See, now he should be able to bring his probe straight up, start building, but he's gonna need, some, too late. gonna need some attack uh, over here to do that. He's got some more links coming up, it looks like. Those might be able to take out all the oh this guy's hand can't take air. That's yeah. gonna be able to take out the observer, that's gonna be able to take out the cannon. As long as he doesn't get killed by their cannons. Uh, I don't know why he cut across like that. Um we lost the two, paying attention. Two guys almost in that stupid um Charade. Now he has two of these. Oh. He's going to be able to take out a pylon. He's going to take out a reaver. Reavers are quite expensive, without a doubt. See, they still have a tank. They're not cheap. Their attack is not very high, but I'm pretty sure they have high speed. Yeah. So it's going to take a while to kill them, but you know what? They can't get attacked back. They're like the scouts on uh, the Protoss game. Cannon's gone, Reaver's gone, and probably, uh, it's gonna take a little, quite a bit of shots, but once it's done, they're gone. Okay, now, now he could, uh, take his, uh, his lurkers, bring them back in, should and now have he's a gonna problem. be able to take out any more observers that are built. Why would you run in? I don't even know if it's there, the observer's not over there. He saw the portal, I think. Well, he just didn't remember, maybe? doesn't matter. He still held off his expansion. He ran out of funds. He has oh, no more money. That is it. That is game. There's nothing you can do without that's any more money. Play the money game. You know, he has a lot of cash right now. But you know what? He's just building these things that he built last time. The Dragoons. Which aren't bad, but he spent a lot of money on all these cannons. And those cannons aren't going to do much besides hold off an attack one after another and not be able to rebuild them. They have major problems. Uh, he's, sending, he's sending more of these uh, cheerless. Um, he keeps on accidentally sending him over. He's really killing those guys on accident. It's really not helpful. At least it's their unit they do. At least calling help. He got his so now he's got his, he's upgrading his lair right there. After he's done upgrading that lair, he's going to upgrade his spire. And after the spire, he's going to have guardians that can take out everything. Those guardians will be able to knock off those things in a couple shots and. No. I think it's only like 10 shots from the Guardian from outside range, so they just got that done with them. He has no air. He has nothing that would be able to shut He actually did just make a shuttle. He might Maybe. be able to try and expand somewhere, but it might be... It's it. absolutely full. Yeah. If he doesn't detect it, then he's fine. But if, if this materialist right now sees it, then he's screwed. So only a shot to expand it. If he gets that expansion, then he gets a slight chance. But this materialist is stopped over here. Um, I think it's outside of his range. We might be able to actually sneak by oh, wow. and uh, expand his base. He has a lot of money to expand right now, so he should be set. Well, and not uh, have enough money to defend, then. See, these Zerglings didn't make any defense. He didn't need any defense because he's a strong offense. 
That's a very good strategy. But as soon as his attack force is done, he's, now got he's done. His hive is in. So now he's going to watch that spire. Yep, right there, the spire is evolving. Turn to the right. There we go. Let's turn into a greater spire. The greater spire is allowed for guardians. No! All right, he made it across. He really shouldn't go for this one because the top one has a little bit more minerals usually. Um, it's also a little better defended. Yeah, because he's on one that. entrance. He's doing that right now. He's going to set up. He should uh, actually, if he wants to, he should set up here and also set up up here. He's Not being enough. detected. He's actually going directly to the top. <coughs> Never mind, he's pulling back. All right, he's going to... What's he doing? <laughs> he's trying to fool you, that's all he's doing. What he's probably doing is just searching to make sure that the Zerg is not set up over there at all, which he, he, uh, he found out quite easily. Um, he's building another hatchery to get even more gold out here. He's expanding little by little. Uh, compared to him, he's pulling all the way out. He got four of them out. He's still four in. He might actually be doing what we thought he would be doing. Um, he's going to build cannons right off the bat to make sure that no little uh, units come in. Um, he's building his nexus as well. Um, he has a whole bunch of materialists. If he wants to, he, he, he can definitely take out at least three or four cannons right now. He needs money better, though. He's only got 100 left. Um, yeah, he's wasting his money right now, probably. Make sure on the expansion and uh, upgrades. Yeah, it, cheap. mutation's almost done. Once that's done, he's gonna have a hard time not winning. <laughs> those <laughs> those cannons are gonna go gone in a second. Thousands now of dollars wasted. All he needs is the money to uh, start turning them into guardians. He's building a lot, a lot of uh, drones to make more money. Try and make the money that he needs. Um, he spent about half his money, or more than half his money, just trying to set up his new base with cannons, building Nexus. Spending more now, too. He's getting another cannon in there. It's not going to be a cheap base. Definitely not. Um, he really should have pushed out a little bit. He pushed out right over here. He would have defended two locations, and he would have had this base as well. He really secured himself in a corner, maybe to avoid detection. But the problem now lies in the fact that um, he's really limiting his capabilities of expanding even more if he wanted to. Right now, he's totally out of funds. He has an observer there, but uh, he has to, once again, bring a shuttle back and try and get more units. He, the only problem is if the shuttle's detected, he's going to know he has another base, and he's going to rush him the very hard. Guardians are just about done. That's going to be the end of the game. They're going to just take it out like nothing. There they are, Guardians, you've got these, uh, uh, they just chew through ca uh, cannons like it's nothing. So, you're going to see in a second, he's getting a little bit more money, he's going to upgrade all these, uh, materials to, uh, to Guardians. Guardians are not very good against air attack. They don't attack air at all. Yeah, at all. So, the problem is, there has no air unit, so there's no issue in that at all. So, really, if he had a couple air units, he could take them out slowly but surely, but take them all out. But right now, there's nothing to stop him, nothing at all. The range is too far. The, the damage is upgraded, and he's going to have major problems. Seriously. He said I'm going to for bases. He just got three bases. Uh, he did leave the oh, four in there. He's making the second base. But you know what? It, it's done. Right here, it's done. These things are all gone, one after another after another. It's, it's, it's gone, you know. I don't know why he's saying his materialist out. It's suicide right now. It's really clear out those cannons before he did anything else. Take out um, pylon, pylons, don't have most of those cannons on fire. Well, that's not true because he has, he, has, he, has, he has extra pylons in the back. Um, he really has to make sure he gets all his ground used before he focuses on the cannons. Because uh, otherwise he's gonna start losing you guys. Um, he has the range, but he has to get the right angle to make sure he doesn't get attacked. Because he's really not focusing all his guys on. Um, there he goes. He got the right angle. He has to get all those. He has to get that kind of. He's moved this direction. He pulls down. You know all these units that he has over here, which doesn't have much yet, but he's getting more hydrolysis and whatnot. He can pull straight down to his base and kill the, the extra protons that, uh, probes that he has over here. He's making two more bases, um, but the thing is, it's not going to do anything. Do anything because he has no money to reestablish his whole front base. Um, uh, 
defense is done. So basically, this base is running useless, especially with uh, more uh, leechers, leechers uh, lurking is coming in. Um, there's not much you can do. Those guardians really should just come out and uh, push them up. I was just creating mass suicide right there. He sees a shuttle, he knows that there's nothing left, and he, he knows there's another base. But you know what? If he kills the main base, it, it doesn't matter. This guy has plenty of money. Um, he's making more, more guardians. He wants to make sure that... Uh, he does it right the first time. He really still has to stop sending him through there. You know, it's a waste of money. And he keeps on uh, losing him way off the bat. Really shouldn't send his uh, ground units in. It's just killing them for no reason whatsoever. He's just not worried about it though. You know, he bought the right units. He knows he knows how to use the units, but he's not he's not doing the attack correctly like he should. You know, he's just sending it all in. He's like, you know what, I got this. I don't care. Um, but you know what? He could have got this done a lot quicker if he really did it uh, the, right way. the right way. But at this point, you know, with those guardians, you know, you have six guardians there. It's not going to make a crap of a difference on uh, right there, you know, see the range on them. They couldn't even get hit back right there again. Nothing's happened to the guardians. He's taking out that cannon real quick. He said a moment to so he can get the units, but there's no units here for him to get. So those things are just going to be wasted money once again. He could be turning those into guardians, and he he's could. got pretty good money right now already. He's still got 800 bucks. He's not feeling too bad now in the money. Uh, he's got third base to get the money. <coughs> he's building his third base now, <laughs> but you know what? His base is, is pointless. You know, they can't, he built a starport, which is oh, a smart you idea. Too. You have the Corsair, so right you can take them out right now, um, but he's not sending them. Uh, That's he, just he figured this base is gone, there's nothing I can do about it, there's no money there, really, it doesn't matter. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to make sure that he can hold this base out and hold it as long as he can. Um, he's going to be a little pissed off because he's like, you know what? Um, I, I, I killed your main base, man. Why are you still trying to come alive? You know? Really, it's over, but you never give up before you go. Never surrender! Once again, this is uh, E Rev at the GXL LAN inside of um, Millville, uh, New Jersey, South Jersey, Dirty Jersey. Um, all right, uh, right now this is me, Pelly, uh, along with uh, Brian. Um, he's uh, helping me cast in the StarCraft match. Um, this is leading up to the uh, semifinals and the finals of StarCraft. Um, the uh, LAN is uh, mainly cleared out. Uh, they're closing up around, you know, two-ish. They're, they're starting to clean up. It's great. Um, it was a great three days of uh, pure fun, all games from. Uh, FPSs to strategy to um, RPG. You know, there was Dota, there was uh, COD 4, there was TF2. There's great times here. Um, once again, you should visit uh, Pound Game Digit. Ask for um, Dav uh, Davin or Travis, and uh, and you guys check out their um, new servers if they have. Uh, their servers use solid state drives. The solid state drives are able, you know, obviously you can produce uh, a lot faster uh, response times for your games, and they're not even charging extra for it. They're just doing it as straight out, you know, that's what we're doing for you, that's the way it should be done. Um, right now, he's just doing a serving attack, and uh, finishing them off really quick because you have a lot of guys attacking one little area. He's going to maybe scout out his other base. It's like, uh, let me see what he has. But you know what? He has three base, uh, three guys uh, making a crap load of money. He yeah, he's already got two grand, which, you know, that's enough to uh, make a nice size army. He, he just doesn't want to make anything. He's like, you know what? I won. What, what are you doing alive, you know? Same thing that uh, that Wolf over here was doing last round. He, he has uh, two crosshairs and a scout. 
you know, the cross says he can really do some damage against his guardians. And he has no uh, air attack whatsoever. He really needs to make some hydroists right now. The Corsairs are really great, especially against stacked air, and all the Zerg air is stacked. So, it's perfect for the situation, but it really won't do much good, because even killing all that Guardians, I'm sure he's got some more Mutalists around that'll just be able to take out the Corsairs. He went, he went to a great location, he went up and set it down, so he's going to waste all his money on those cannons. Gonna kill those uh, uh, probes really what fast. Money does have he's only got 200. Though. He can't afford to be wasting 200 minerals. And there he goes. That's one down. You know that's a lot of money wasted right now. He goes for this one right now. He can finish it off. But you know what? Those those uh. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to finish it off very easily. There he goes. Two of them take out the whole thing. Th that's gone. That's gone. The scout can't do much really. They really can't. Low damage. <coughs> um, they have that, that mini gun in it, but you know what? They mainly against air. Yeah. Protoss is very anti-air, but he didn't even build up his anti-air. So now he's getting away. So those guardians are, are going to be taken out quite easily. Um, but you know what? He's, he's not even thinking about going for the guardians, which he should have done from the get-go. And all those cannons that he had there are gone. So basically, he has nothing left. He has no cannons, no protection. You know, he could, he could obviously kill all these ground zerglings here. But the thing is, he can just build more. He has so much money, three thousand dollars. He can put up the hell he wants, however long he wants. There's no way Wolf can catch up. Pretty much going to fly just to make another dozen guardians. Or if you want, you can make bowers. Uh, bowers are great for his air. Yeah, probably one of the best Airbus air units. That's basically, Corsairs and Valkyries are three Airbus air units that are just incredible. They, they just take that that that, uh, that purple book around the, yeah. the air units and just disease it to death. Um, the Zerglings really should just take something out. You know, if he kills that forge, he won't be able to make any more. Uh, it's already unpowered. Unless he's got one over on the left. I don't know if that he shouldn't be able to. For some reason, he's making a proton cannon right now. It don't have any power. I thought it did. Oh, I could be wrong. Not over but... Oh, there oh, here's is. another one. There it is. That's the one we're looking for. So, he's sending more. He really should have done that. Um, he has money to waste, so it doesn't matter. But if he gets those Zerglings out just in time to kill that cannon, he should be set. He's First not part going is for that cannon. Cool is he doesn't even realize that after he kills us, he's still not done. Because that base in the top left is still has to be killed. Really, he should just give up, but, you know. The, uh, some people have pride, and uh, this uh, Wolf is the one with the pride. That's no doubt. Uh, these guys right here, they should be able to. They should be able to take out these uh, these three air units that he has. Um, that's all he has. Is these four guys, two crosshairs, and uh, two scouts. Um, I'm going into attack with them. All he cares about is killing. You know, wasting all his money. Right now, he has five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars against this whole army that he's going to be producing. He, he's not even worrying about anything. He's just sending him as he built him to give some support. Just in case one dies. There he goes. That's one one scout down. That that's uh that crosshair is down. You know what? That's the second scout. That's his uh, second crosshair. That's down. The last thing left is that scout for air and he's useless. He's done. Nothing he can do. You really should take out that uh that cannon for right now, but you know what, he has over amount of units, he should be able to out, outrange that, uh, I'll take that cannon without a problem. He's going for a second cannon, because obviously, Magnus Bullock is not paying attention, he's probably building more units right now, so if he's not even looking over here, he really should start taking out those cannons right now, and those pro, uh, pylons, so he can't do anything. But he's just worrying about taking out his, uh, pro his probes so he can't make any more minerals. Looks like he just wants the wind rush, just for the hell of it. Yeah, he really Can should. Can you those wings? No, no, they're still original, they're not even up. He just doesn't care. Yeah, he really <laughs> needs to group them together and do one large attack, and, and he has to stop just uh, going very slowly. You know, oh, he's, going for the he's pylon. finally going for it. the pylons. So these things are useless when this thing is destroyed. He has all his zerglings going directly to that pylon. 
a pylon done, he's set. Um, he has <laughs> no more pylons, his whole base. Uh, so basically, all his cannons that he has is done. Absolutely useless. You kill those probes, you won't be able to make any more uh, can, uh, pylons, and he's set. That's exactly what he did. That base, with a uh, little rough tactics, is able to finish it off. Second base, still has a third. Will he give up? He should. Will he? Probably not. Okay. I love the lake. <laughs> None of the units that he has right now will work. The only thing that will work is the Nexus. The Nexus won't produce anything for him. You know, he has there's more things he can build over here, but there's no even room to build a starboard if he wants to or anything of that nature. You know, he has no he has a thousand dollars, which is, is, is a little bit, but you know what? After all this, that's nothing. Um, all his zerglings gonna be what, he, what, uh, is he going useless. to expand again? He's got drones going out there. You know what? I think he just sent everything. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna highlight whatever I have and send them at you. <laughs> because uh, you know, he just wants to get this over. He's like, you know, enough. You're done. Just die. Um, but he doesn't realize that he's going to have to send air over here to try and get this. Yeah, that base actually doesn't have a ramp. The only way to get there is by air. So if he has his guardians, he can take this out quite easily and just, you know, finish it off. Because he's not going to get any ground units because he knows there's no ground units to get off this air unless he uses the, the, uh, the probe, which is already dead. Um, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah, this match is basically done now. There's really nothing left except for to watch that base in the top left get destroyed. Um, so he doesn't even know that base is there right now. He's he's looking at every single base possible. He's like, oh, I see his shuttle there. Maybe he's there. Uh, you know, he's not in this one. Where the hell is he? It's so frustrating when he just looking at that last base because he knows that they're done. There's nothing left that he, he can really do. should just send out his overlords. One he's location. Expecting that, isn't he? I think I just saw um, a hatchery being built. Right over there. Because he needs the money. He doesn't have enough. <laughs> he has one of them gone. Um, he ran out of minerals down there. I guess that's what he's doing. Uh, he, has, he has quite a bit of money over here, actually, still. He still has about you know, another uh, 3, 7, like like 7 k around. Over here, it's plenty. You know, he's still he's set. Um, yeah, he really doesn't need to do anything. He has a lot, a lot of uh, observers. He, he's going straight around. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure and see that I, if I have guardians attacking me, I want to see them before they get me. But uh, doing good. as he says, they're not gonna do any good as well. He's got nothing to fight back. He's going back to the original base to make sure he didn't rebuild. If I was uh, Magna Bula right now, I'd be pretty pissed off. I'm like, come on, enough is enough. Check is obviously the two yeah. corners. Yeah. So let's see if he sends air right now. Let's check that over there. He's following one shuttle, I believe. Is that what it is? Yep. Or a scout. I'm sorry. He's following there the scout. He's fo following the scout directly into his base. What a very dumb idea. There's not very much left. You know, it'll show him the base, though. That's what I'm saying. It's very dumb on uh, the other guy's behalf. He knows exactly where his base is. He doesn't have to look anymore. He's like, you know what? Exactly where you are, you know. Let's see if that scout tries to bring more, more of the uh, materials into the base. Where's he got his ass? I guess he's out of air now. Not the last of his air, but you know, always time to rebuild when he got that much money and that many bases. Okay, there he goes. Look, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Those are just built. Yeah, that's just built. So right now, he can use all his hatcheries and start mass producing those, uh, those uh, air guys. Oh, just more Zerglings. He's got Zerglings everywhere. Let's see what he he's has got over 60 here. units right now. He has a shuttle full of guys, and he's like, you know what? My Zerglings are going to follow you, because you can't go to any base, because I have every single one. It's all under lockdown. He has a <laughs> another hatchery. He has <laughs> no joke. He's going to build a hatchery in every single base, because he's nothing better to do right now. He has to wait for that air to be done, so he might be building those hatcheries all to build the air. Do that right away. Then he can upgrade these guardians, and then he's set. Because right now, 
he doesn't have that much money. He has to build a uh, thing for an airport, to build a, a starport. I think he has to build a gateway and stuff yeah, like that. He's going to need all kinds of prereqs. He doesn't have a chance. He'd never be able to make that many prereqs. Once again, this is uh, Pelly Free Me Rev along with Brian. Um, fun times. Here's a GXL land. Uh, we have a uh, uh, material trying to track down the shuttles to make sure that he doesn't plant it anywhere. Uh, what, do we, what do we have? An observer? Yeah, it's an observer over there. Yeah, I'm going around the map for a little bit. <laughs> He's leading in. <laughs> He's leading <laughs> directly into the scout. <laughs> Alright, I guess he wants that kill real bad. <laughs> Sorry, this is Dodie. You don't get money for every uh, kill you make. Sorry. He's gonna be able to get the kill. Oh, yeah, he will. Oh, it'd be fun if they kill each other. That'd be great. That would be. He doesn't realize that he has zerglings in every base. You know, as soon as he plops those things down, boom, 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 he's dead. Mission. That's one down. <laughs> Probe attack. Probe no, really, it takes nothing with, with all these surgeons that he has. <laughs> that's gonna be a shot in the dark. He's gonna try and run one out. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye. Oh, what was that? Was that Nexus? No, that that was pilot. Uh, if it was a Nexus, that would have been one. That was for nothing. Uh, I see this air. What is he doing over here? Why isn't he He's building? He's just sitting air? back and waiting. I have no idea. I, I think he wants to go to you know, a bathroom or something because he really doesn't need to do anything. Right this is expanding. I don't know why. There's really nothing going on here. You know, there's no space for anything. He's putting a space on the other side of the mirror and trying to expand his uh, room. He's building more cannons. Really, those cannons are useless. There's nothing going to happen with these cannons. Uh, I love cannons. I use protests all the time. But in this particular situation, you know, it's really dumb to start making cannons now because all he has to do is build guardians and he's done. Um, unless he has a lot of scouts or, or, or crosshairs that he can just you know line up right in front of it to take out the uh, the, the guardians. You know, it's but even really with powers. Is, he knows he, does, he knows he doesn't have the money to do that. Even if he did have a lot of crosshairs and scouts, the other guy would definitely have more devourers to take all that out. So it'd be done. There he goes. He has um, about six mm -hmm. over here. He should be able to make that really easily, and there he goes, he's more from directly into the Guardians. And, uh, that should be game once he attacks. Yep. Hopefully, let's get this game over with. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> Fun times. So, let's see what else we have. Uh, GXL line. We have, it looks like, he, what is he playing? Super. Nintendo? <laughs> right there. Is he playing Super Nintendo? Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I uh, think he's playing Super Nintendo on the projector right now. He's playing Mario Kart. He's playing Mario Kart it's on the projector zero. right now. You know, that's about a, uh, what would you say, a 200 inch screen? <laughs> Something like that. Wow. This guy is no <laughs> So he has his guardians built. Um, he's going to send them directly out. And that's done. Um, he's, he's building so many creep colonies trying to get that stupid freaking scout out of the way. Um, here he goes. The observer sees him, but it doesn't matter because they can't, he can't shoot them anyway. Um, best thing he can do right now is send his scout straight up, but if he has any materials, he'll take it out in no problem. And, uh, let's see if he has any more air. He's really, all he's doing is building a base everywhere. There's a base here, there's a base here, there's a base here. What is he doing? Um, he's building more materials at every single base, little by little. Um, and he's going to send them all up top and send them all at once, it seems. Looks like he just wants to overwhelm for the hell of it. <laughs> that scout is resilient.
turns around, he should be able to attack. There's not much life left. You know, has a little bit of shield left, but you know, well, the shield's actually a full he, he really just wants to get him right into the sport colonies. He should have waited until it was finished, and there he goes. That's gone. They're stuck, it's poisoned, and it's dead. And now he's got nothing to fend off there, and as you can see, he's going in with the Guardians now. And boom, 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 you're dead. A whole bunch of cannons. As you can see, the Guardians stack nicely, so they can just kill him. Take out anything like that? No, it's like three shots, more of those, and it kind of stuff. You know? Two, actually. Here it goes, ready? A little bit forward, goes for the, the closest one so it can't get attacked because it has the range, and it's gone. It has over $3,000, it's close to $3,000, and that one's gone, that one's gone, that one's gone. You know, he has to watch his units because they're running into the cabin, which isn't too smart. You know, they have a little bit more HP than the, the, um, the materialists, I believe. But, uh, a little more, but, um, he just cleared out half his cannons right there. Carapace, too. Let's see. One carapace. Yeah, they got the strong carapace, too. So obviously, he, he just spent over you know six hundred dollars or more, so he definitely has some uh, some materials coming on its way. Um, here they are. Yeah, hundred dollars each plus then uh, morphing them into gardens is another hundred fifty plus gas. He's actually low on gas. Yeah, that's probably what's limiting him the whole time is is he was he yeah. wasn't able to uh, get him. So he that's has why he expends so much to take every single best being guys are in the fucking map. Because it's very slow getting Vespian gas, even with, you know, X amount of things. Like, as you can see, he's not getting anything else besides Vespian gas. He has three uh, hydros here. He has uh, three of them coming up from the he's bottom. He's got a drop There's two down. over here. You know, it's another set of five. He, he used to take it out of his base. It's done. It's like he's getting a drop right here. Oh, what's he doing? Yeah, he saw one of his observers. Is he trying to drop them? I'm just wondering. Taking out the pylon, that's going to disable the top unit, unless this has enough room. He takes out, there's two py three pylons out, and all those cannons are done. There's no point in them. So, uh, let's see, um, he's gonna not wait it out. He might go directly for the main base to finish it off because really nothing else can attack it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. He's not even more for these guys. He's just rushing them into all of it. He really shouldn't do that. You know, it's a waste. I just need to just die in three seconds. Because they don't have much HP at all. The whole point is that they're very strong in an attack and they have the, um, they have the range they need. And that's it, that's game. It was game from the get-go, but you know what? He, won't, he wanted his person to be a little longer, which he did, but you know, this is definitely the end of the game right now. Really upset the feet. Everyone else is focused on who the next president will be. Game Digit has done something that no other provider on the planet has yet to accomplish. Introducing solid state drives. This means no server side leg, period. Want 10% off for the life of your package? Use coupon code SOLID STATE. For more information, see www.gamedigit.com. That's www.gamedigit.com.